Good day and welcome to our first video in the Marzano Framework for Effective Instruction series. I'm your instructor, Dusty Kennedy. Today we're going to talk about a brief overview of the Marzano Framework for Effective Instruction and a quick discussion of three of the ten guiding questions. All right, let's jump right in. The Marzano Framework for Effective Instruction is a student-centered framework for curriculum development that was pioneered by Robert Marzano. This framework is built upon a set of ten guiding questions for instructors to consider when developing curriculum. And, much like the Danielson framework, Marzano's framework is focused on four domains. Now that we know a little bit about what the framework is, let's dig into some of its components. First up, guiding question number one. What will I do to establish and communicate learning goals, track student progress, and celebrate success? Well, first up, when looking for evidence of communicating learning goals, we'll see them visually displayed in the classroom. And when asked, students can articulate the current learning goal. When observing ways to track student progress, we'll see students chart their progress of formative assessments to measure individual learning, and when asked, these students can articulate their progress based on previous formative assessments. And lastly, we should be able to observe student success recognition tailored to each individual student and hear teachers verbally recognize and celebrate student success. In our next guiding question, we'll see what we can do to help students effectively interact with new knowledge. This includes previewing new content prior to critical input experience and hearing students ask what they think they know about a new topic prior to new learning. We may also see students separated into groups to enhance active processing of information and listen while they discuss the new content with one another and learning how each processes information. And finally, we may see teachers uh, break up new information and present them in small chunks and then hear the student groups openly discuss each of the chunked bits of information. Our last guiding question for today's video is how we can help students generate and test hypotheses about new knowledge. Evidence of this can be seen in teachers engaging students in experimental inquiry tasks by presenting and discussing a situation and listening to students develop a hypothesis and test it with collected data. Another way to evaluate this is to see teachers present the class with a problem to solve and listen to students develop a hypothesis about how to solve that problem. And lastly, we may observe the teacher identify a past event to be explained and then state an investigation task as a prompt on the board resulting in students openly stating predictions and then working to test those predictions. These are just a few of the ways that we can implement three of the guiding questions in Marzano's framework for effective instruction. Well, that does it for today. Let me know if you have any other questions. Again, I've been your instructor, Dusty Kennedy, and until next time, go learn something.